So Haman said, I think if you were going to honor somebody, I think you, what you should do is let them wear some clothes that the king has worn, let them ride a horse that the king has ridden, and let them wear a crown, and have them ride all around the city so that everybody could see that the king is honoring them. And so the king said, that's a really good idea. So he said, I want you to do that for Mordecai. Uh, Haman was so mad and so disappointed because he thought he was the one that was going to get honored. And he hated Mordecai. He wanted to kill Mordecai. He didn't want to honor him. But he had to say, yes, king, I will do what you say. And so uh, Haman took Mordecai out and he honored him like the king said. And then he had to go to the second banquet with the king and Queen Esther. Um, and while he was at the second banquet with the king and the queen, um, they, they ate a, a wonderful meal. And then the king said, Queen Esther, what is it that I can give you? What gift would you like? Have, you know, up to half of my kingdom, what would you like? And Queen Esther said, all I would like, king, is for you to save my life. And the king said, what? Save your life? What? What's that about? And she said, there is an edict, a law that was written that on a certain day, every single Jewish person in the, your entire kingdom will be killed. And the king said, what? How, how did this happen? Who did this? And Queen Esther said, Haman did it. Haman wrote the edict and stamped it with your stamp that said on a certain day, every Jewish person in your kingdom will be killed. The king was so mad, he thought that Haman was just gonna kill a couple of troublemakers in the kingdom. He did not know it was gonna be all the Jewish people. But once an edict or law was stamped with the king's um, stamp, it could not be changed. So the king was so mad at Haman. So what the king did was, he had Haman hung on the gallows that Haman had built to hang Mordecai. And he took the ring off of Haman and gave it to Mordecai and gave Mordecai Haman's job. And he also gave Esther um, Haman's house. But the king, the edict was still out there, the law that was still out there that every single Jewish person was going to be killed um, on the same day. And uh, so the king and Queen Esther and Mordecai said, well, what can we do? And Mordecai said, if, you, if we can write an edict that says that the Jewish people can be allowed to protect themselves, to defend themselves, to fight back on that day, that would be good. So the king said, fine, write it out, seal it, and it'll be the new edict. So when the day came that the Jews were supposed to be killed, according to Haman's edict, um, the Jews fought back and they they won. They, they were not killed. Um, until this day, the Jews celebrate Esther saving her people with a celebration called Purim. And in Purim is celebrated by the Jewish people every February or March. And what they do is they eat, um, they feast, they eat a lot of really good foods and they celebrate and they give gifts to the poor. Um, and sometimes they even give gifts to each other. So over 2000 years, the Jewish people still thank Esther for saving them. And you know, this story is really good for us because the verse that, that Mordecai told Esther was, who knows, God made you queen so that you could save your people. God has a job for each of us to do as well. Let's pray that we are obedient to God, that we are faithful to God, and we are courageous to do the job that God wants us to do. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for loving us and thank you for giving us jobs to do to help you. 
We pray that we will be obedient, we will be faithful, and we will be courageous to do the jobs that you have given us to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.